So the previous game, the server shut down. That's fucking fantastic. I didn't realize I was playing DayZ. But all jokes aside, all jokes aside, um, I feel like we we're gonna lose that round to get that game anyway. Though we were gonna tie up the game three to three, so I, I don't know about I don't know if if uh, I'm being completely honest here with myself. Maybe maybe we had a chance. Good job, team. That's how you engage enemies all at once. Ain't no time to be a hero. Gotta play for the team. Too many people in this game are so scared of get taking gunfights. They're so scared of dying. It's like, yeah, I know it sucks sitting through a 28 second respawn timer. Thanks, devs. Thanks for fucking nothing. Thanks, Obama. But, uh... People have gotta learn how to take gunfights. Just so scared all the time. All enemies eliminated round one. Even if you're not playing execution, the people are still so scared of uh, ta uh like you know taking direct gunfights. No one wants to do it. Uh, we already have an OBJ guy. I don't know if it's that useful to have a second one. So it's just we'll we'll see how the well the level five proxy does. He seems like he's doing a good enough job. So. We'll just go third medic. You can never have enough medics. Oh, wow. Managed to get him right before uh, he healed. What is this? Is this A-Sight? Got him. Got him. I'm gonna show you making plenty of food. I can't I can't imitate a Spanish accent unfortunately. Correct. I got you. Gonna need some of that healy healy action. So our proxy's good. He knows what's up. He knows he needs to, he knows what he needs to do. So I'm fine going third medic. Execution. I've mentioned this many times before, but execution is um, the one game mode where having more medics is actually a good thing. <laughs> like it's it's actually theoretically okay for you to have all medics, one OBJ, and one ammo guy. Nice. Managed to keep our proxy alive. That's not good. I got it. And of course. Of course he would be hiding in the corner. Of course. Now I think we lost. There's no way this team can beat uh, 2v1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So yeah. Rip. And also camping when you've got the bomb down isn't very good in this game because of how mo how uh, dependent on mobility this game is. There's no point camping in a corner. All it does is just ca help you get killed faster. No point at all. You don't camp in this game. You camp, you fucking die. This is not Call of Duty. Ow. If you want to play a search and destroy game type where you can camp your ass off and get away with it, you play Call of Duty. Or CS or something. Not in Dirty Bomb, no. Unless you're Phantom and you cloak. Then, if, then okay, you can get away with it. 
because that's what you're supposed to do. But, nah, not in this game. Not playing Phantom, don't camp. Otherwise, you, you die and you look like a fucking idiot. Are you fucking kidding me? I don't know who to go, <laughs> who to go to. This dude. Got down him first. There we go. Oh, I didn't heal the proxy. Fuck. And of course. Uh, bomb. Right. It's still 5v2, <laughs> the exact opposite of the last round. They're both here. Wonderful. Yes, yes, Doctor. I will eat plenty of food. Execution. Eliminate all enemies and defend the pylons. Oh dear. We need to have at least at least two medics, right? I'm the only medic? Jesus. You guys you guys done goofed! We don't need three, four OBJs! Are you guys kidding me? We have no ammo guy, only one medic. This team is fucking screwed. Headshots. Got him. Oh my concern. Do you need healing? Okay. Now they should be holed up in there. So now we shall make our way to flank them. The flanky flanky action. Only one enemy remaining. Trying to go slappy slappy mode is not very uh, advised, but it's okay. Medic. Somebody should go second, me second medic. You all have potato mics. Fucking, did you work at Walmart for two hours and buy a fucking shit mic? You probably shit it out yourself. Judging how by, judging by how shit it is. The drop on him. Oh god. I was about to say, if I didn't kill that guy... Okay. Just gonna get on the uh, bomb as quickly as possible. Because one of the dangers of quick planting is if, if the defending team gets on the bomb as soon as possible, this happens. Trust me, I've done a lot of these quick plants enough to know what happens. <laughs> if you get the bomb down, and no one is around to defend it. I've done it enough times. Been there, done that. It's a science. A science that needs yet to be... studied. Properly, that is. But, I do know a few tricks. Okay, will anyone rush down this way? I don't hear anyone, which means I can proceed through. They've dropped the bomb, which is good. Okay, they don't know I'm here. I should... Okay. I'll go back for my teammate. I will give up the flank in order to revive this teammate. There you go. Yeah, you better fucking thank me. Okay, now we shall see if I can hit him, hit him with the hot flank. Got this dude. 
this guy because he's playing Aura. Not that dude. Headshots are really useful, aren't they? Now where's the last guy? Never mind, he's dead. That's how you pull a flank by yourself. Without any other gimmicks. It would have been easier, admittedly, if, um, what is it? If I was playing Nader or Fragger or someone with an explosive ability. But in case you don't have that, in case you don't have a grenade at your disposal, that's what you do. Pick them off one at a time and aim for headshots and hope for the best. <laughs> 